Hey, welcome to the channel. My name's Tom Peter, and this is my 45 minute follow along barbell workout with an EMOM finisher. We're going to start off with a five minute warm up using an empty bar or a very light loaded bar. We're going to do five exercises, 30 seconds each. If you've got a rack, I would use a rack for this workout when we go into the main rounds, but I'm going to be showing you that it can be done without. Bring the bar onto your back. We're going to start with some good mornings. With the barbell on a low bar back position, you're gonna pull your hips back, hinging at the hips until you feel a hamstring stretch. When you feel that maximum stretch, you're gonna squeeze your glutes forward, bringing you back to the top. Maintain a tight upper back position, so you shouldn't be rounding your upper back forwards at all, and don't bend your knees too much. Get ready to move onto a strict press. Bring the bar to the front of your body, have your hands just wider than your shoulders, press up and overhead, finishing with a nice straight line from your hands down to your mid foot. Keep going, keeping your elbows underneath the bar as much as possible. Next up, we'll be moving onto some barbell back pause squats. I'm gonna take a two to three second pause at the bottom of each rep. Pick your most comfortable squat width, have a slight turn out to your feet. Make sure your knees stay on the outside of your big toes. Keep the elbows underneath the bar as much as possible with a nice tight upper back position. Control your descent, have that pause at the bottom without collapsing the tailbone under too much. Bring it back to the top. Next up, we'll move on to some alternating reverse lunges. Again, thinking about that knee position, don't let the front knee collapse in towards the big toe. Try not to step back like you're in a tight rope, otherwise it'll be hard to balance. So you wanna step back, maintaining your hip width apart with the feet. Again, keep the elbows under the bar if your shoulders are flexible enough, keep a nice upright back position. And next, we'll get rid of the bar and move on to some Spider-Man lunges onto a press up position on the floor you're going to bring one foot just on the outside of your little finger then you're going to turn and reach towards the ceiling towards that front leg if you're struggling with hip flexibility just step the foot a lot wider than the hand and it will be a lot easier just rotate as much as you can with a brief pause when you're in the top position we're going to do one more round of these warm-up exercises and then go into the main workout
onto section A of the workout, you're gonna to need to load the bar with a weight that you can comfortably do eight reverse lunges per leg with the bar on your back for. I recommend using a rack if you have one for this. I'm going to do it without in the video. I went a little bit too heavy. And if I did it again, some of the transfers between exercises would be easier if you had a rack, but it can definitely be done without if you haven't got one. We're going to start off with reverse lunges for 40 seconds. You'll have a 20 second break, then onto the back squats. Then you'll have a 20 second break onto some deadlifts, another 20 seconds and onto the calf raise. After each round, you're gonna get a 30 second break before going back until you've completed three total rounds. Let's get ready to go with those barbell alternating leg reverse lunges. This is a great exercise for the glutes, hamstrings, and a little bit quads as well. Keep alternating backward steps, making sure the front knee doesn't cave in keep the core nice and stable and body relatively upright. Keep going until you hear the 40 second beeper and then we're gonna to transfer to the next exercise. Take a short break. If you've got a rack, this is a great opportunity just to put the weight back and relax your arms and shoulders. But if you haven't, as you can see, rather than putting it on the floor, I chose to just keep it on my back. Get ready to go for some barbell back squats. The goal of these sets is just to keep working with nice smooth tempo rather than try and do loads of reps. So make sure you're controlling the descent on the way down. I like to put a brief pause in, but that's more down to preference. Make sure your knees stay out and try and minimize the amount of rest time at the top. But if you're struggling, you can take a little bit longer in between reps. Bring the bar to the floor, have a short break and get ready to go for some barbell deadlifts. Make sure your back isn't rounded forwards before you lift each time. This is a great exercise for the hamstrings and lower back. If you need to take a little reset of your back position each rep, that's fine. If you prefer to do touch and go reps where you just come straight back up and maintain the position, that's also fine. I like to do a little bit of both usually and I feel like I'm slipping out of shape. I'll do a little reset at the bottom. Next up, we're gonna do some calf raises. I'm gonna use a switch grip, which means one overhand, one underhand. And that's just to make it easier on my grip, saving it for some of the later rounds. Well done, that's the end of round one of three in this section. We've got a 30 second break now, and then we're gonna go back to doing those barbell reverse lunges. We've got another two rounds of these exercises, and I'm gonna switch things up and move on to some new ones.
there's two of three rounds complete well done if you're finding it a little bit too heavy just take some weight off and if you're finding it too easy just put a little bit on you can always change your weight or pause the video if you're finding something too hard or too easy let's get ready to go back with those alternating reverse lunges for the third and final round of this section Great job, that's that section complete. You're gonna to need to lower the weight now. You're gonna to need to put a weight on that you can comfortably do about 15 reps of a barbell floor press with it. We're gonna use the same format doing four exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for three rounds. The first exercise is your floor press. Then we're gonna move on to an RDL to underhand bent over row, coming up to the top in between each rep. After that, you're gonna move onto some leg raises, also maintaining a slight reaching crunch position throughout that one, and then a barbell overhand pendley row. We're 
to start this off with a barbell floor press. Have a relatively close grip and keep the elbows tucked into your sides. This is a great exercise for the chest, triceps and front of your shoulders. Lower the bar of control until you feel your triceps make contact with the ground and push back up to the top until you have a locked out elbow position. Back to your feet now, we're going to do a Romanian deadlift straight into an underhand bent over row. That means your palms are facing away from your body. We're going to come back up to the top in between each rep to give the lower back a little bit of rest in between the rows. Each time you come down into that Romanian deadlift position, try and be as horizontal as you can. Pull the bar up till it makes contact somewhere near your belly button. Squeeze the back and bicep muscles for a split second at the top of the rep and then lower of control before coming back up into the next rep. Take yourself onto the floor now, lying on your back, roll the bar up and over your legs as if you're going to go into a floor press. We've got leg raises next, but we're also going to maintain a slight reaching crunch position with the upper abs throughout. With your head and the back of your shoulders slightly off the mat, do a leg raise until your shins almost meet the bar and then lower your legs with control as far down as you can get without your lower back arching off the mat. So you want to maintain that core tension, especially on the way down, making sure you're not arching. Back to your feet now, we're going to do an overhand, relatively wide grip penderly row. The penderly row is different to a bent over row because the weight comes back to the floor in between each rep. The advantage of the penderly row over a bent over row in this workout is that your lower back gets a rest in between reps because it's got a lot to do throughout the whole workout already and it allows you to work your upper back better without having that lower back fatigue as a limiting factor. However, if you haven't got large diameter Olympic weights, you might have to just use a lighter barbell and do a hovering bent over row instead. Great job, there's round one of three done in this second section B. So we've got two more rounds of those four exercises and then we're gonna move on to our 12 minute EMOM finisher. If you're not sure what an EMOM is, it stands for every minute on the minute, but don't worry about that right now. I'll explain that when you get to it. Just get yourself ready to go for the floor press.
There's two of three rounds done in this second section. So take a brief rest, get ready to go for the final round before we move on to that finisher. Great job, that's the section complete. Now onto the big finish. We're gonna do a 12 minute EMOM, which stands for every minute on the minute. What we're gonna do is you're gonna do 10 reps of a barbell 
or dumbbell or kettlebell if you find a front squat uncomfortable on your wrists. Then on minute two, you're gonna move onto eight power cleans. So that means from the floor, but you're not gonna drop into a full squat at the top. And then on minute three, you're gonna do six push press. And then on minute four, back to the front squat, minute five, power clean, minute six, push press and so on. So minute seven, back to the front squat. So you're gonna repeat four rounds in total of those three exercises and that'll make up your EMOM. Get ready to go with those front squats. Remember, you can use a kettlebell or dumbbell if needed. So you have a whole minute to do 10 reps. So take your time, don't rush through them, but whatever's left after those 10 reps in this minute, that's going to be your rest time before moving on to the next exercise, which will be those eight power cleans. as much as possible with these power cleans, try and use your legs and hip drive to generate momentum on the bar rather than using a lot of shoulder power. Let's go, we've got eight power cleans. So you come into the floor each time, but then just dropping under the bar slightly at the top rather than sitting into a full squat clean. You don't have to do all of these reps in one set, like a touch and go continuous set. You can split them up with very short breaks. For example, do three reps, take a break, do another three, take a break, and then finish off the last two. So that as long as you total eight reps within the minute, it's up to you how you spread that out. Next up, we're gonna do six push press. We've got plenty of time to fit these into the next minute, so don't rush them. Have a quality lockout at the top, showing control with the bar. So cleaning the bar up to the top, a slight leg bend, and then drive the bar up and overhead, locking out at the top, finishing with the bar directly above your head in a nice straight line. Make sure you're not leaning back so you don't have an overarch in your lower back and don't press the bar forwards in front of your body either. After the push press is gonna be the longest rest you have within the EMOM, so it's a great chance to chalk your hands up, get some water and get yourself ready to go back with those front squats. If you found the first rounds way too easy, just put a little bit extra weight on the bar, but it will get harder as you get more fatigued throughout the rounds.
All right, so you should be halfway through this EMOM. You've done two of four rounds of these three exercises. If you need to adjust the weight up or down a bit to make it harder or easier, use this rest time to do so and get ready to go for the second half. As you can see, I'm struggling to finish this EMOM, but I was determined not to stop and finish the video all without having to take a break. However, you do need to reduce the weight, then do feel free to do that. Or if you just want to lie on the floor for your rest time, whatever it takes to get you ready to go for that next set on the minute, every minute. We've got the front squats coming up soon, so you will have to get back to your feet if you've followed my lead and are lying down. Let's get ready to go. We've got 10 seconds into those front squats.
those cleans were definitely getting tougher towards the end. So we've just got six push press to do now and you're gonna be finished with the whole workout. And that's me finished with the Emon. Thanks so much for joining me. That was definitely a tough one. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Also, if you're new to the channel, let me know you're new here. Make sure you check out some of my other follow alongs. Give them a go. There's a new feature called Super Thanks. If you want to leave a tip, it's just next to the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're enjoying the content. And hopefully I'll see you again really soon for another workout.